Hi there, uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, if you have not uh, already subscribed to this YouTube channel I, I urge you to do so. You can do that right up here in the corner and, and that would mean a lot to me. So, uh, But anyway, thank you for tuning in. This is a newsletter and today I'm going to talk about five things, five new additions to, to the shop. First up is uh, these, uh, these are the new, uh, not the new, but these are, are Whiting Spay Capes but they are Spay Hen and, and not, not Spay Rooster. And this means that you, uh, that you, you actually get the, the Spay Feathers at a at a very very nice and 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 lower price, um, and also that now it's 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 possible to get some in in salmon pink. This is salmon pink. I know the the big light settings here I have probably makes it look a bit too light or something like that. But what you get here is is an enormous amount of spay feathers that is very very uh, easy to use. Also for for the the pedigrees, the pink pic picklet or whatever you want to call it in in English, and uh, and you really really get an enormous amount of um, of feathers at a better price than uh, than. The, uh, than the than the than the rooster capes. The rooster capes are better. I must say the rooster capes are better. But these are a very very nice uh, substitute and and a very affordable substitute. These are about half price of 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 the rooster capes. And I have these in some of the colors that is impossible to get anywhere else. So I have the white and uh, and the salmon pink. But um, uh, the supply of these is as always with white thing limited as well. So if you want if you need one of these, I suggest you get your hands on them right now because. Well, um, basically, they will run out of stock. I I predict fairly fairly easy, if fairly fairly fast. Um, also, some uh, some nice grizzly and and stuff like that. The next thing um, is just basically I've decided to take uh, the the Deer Creek uh, UV glue in the shop. I hear a lot of good things about this, and I've tried it, and it works very well. So it works very similar to the buck bunt, but you know the demands uh, the demands for this is is increasing. So of course I'm gonna have that in in my shop. A nice UV glue works well, looks nice, and uh, well, yeah, basically another another UV glue uh, that works works very well. Also, I've decided to uh, to stock up on CF Design, so I've, I've added some new uh, CF Design items. For instance, I've added these pretty pretty awesome, well, in my opinion, uh, the best uh, tube fly boxes there is on the market. Um, uh, these two are two different models, but basically uh, the idea is the same. Uh, this one you have a lot of different rooms here, so you can have uh, a lot of smaller flies here, and here you can have some single hooks and some some triple and double hooks here in in the foam. Uh, it's it's of course 100% waterproof, and uh, and the other box simply is is designed for for larger flies for your HKA sunrays and stuff like that because the the compartments are are made in in the other direction, so you can have longer flies there. Um, well, it's not a it's not a huge news. It's it's something that's been on the market for for a while. But but you know I've decided to to add this and and a few other CF Design stuff simply because of the level of awesomeness that CF Design is. There is a lot of companies that make something uh, well that is quite frankly just you know copies of this. But but the real and 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 the uh, and, and the original stuff is I think. Um, I think that sometimes it's 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 nice to to support the level of, of ingenuity and and stuff that CF Design stands for, and and they are simply just remarkable in, in their quality and in their in their way of, of designing new gear for for fishermen. So, well, some uh, some CF Design. Um, the next thing, the fourth thing is this. Um, this is actually a, a, a completely brand new uh, on the market TFO. Uh, Temple Folk Outfitters BVK, BVK uh, double-handed rod. Um, I've chosen two models, uh, a 12.8 uh, feet and and a 13 feet. And these has a, have a, a fairly fairly peculiar way of weight. This one, for instance, is it says it's it's a it's a WT6 as a, a class six, and it casts with 400 to 600 grains. And 400 to 600 grains grains is is a very 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 wide uh, range that is from 25 to 34 grams which is uh, almost outrageously large difference uh, i've tried a lot of lines on on these uh, just today out on uh, on the lawn and and i must say the the, the smaller one the 12.8 casts very very well with around around 28 grams and and the 13 feet which uh, is classified as, as a seven weight casts very very well with with 32 grams something like that so 28 and, and 32 grams is is what I would uh, suggest you put on these rods and and and, that, and that's that's a bit way better a better way, way to qualify it than than you know saying from 25 to 32 grams or from 28 to uh, 
30, 36 grams. That's uh, that's basically a very, very broad gap uh, of, uh, of weight. Well, the last thing uh, today um, is this. This is a new light for your uh, flight tying device. Uh, uh, throughout the years, Mark Pitichang has been has been the, the producer of the best one, and and I've had one for many years and been very pleased with that. Um, um, but but there is there was some problems with both with with the way you turned it on. There was a switch up here you had to flick back and forth, and and that could be annoying and that could actually break down over time. But also here you had to attach the you had to attach the cord here. Uh, via a plug and and that cord and that plug would would uh, often uh, over time become uh, become quite annoying because it would it would make a, a bad connection and and your light would would shimmer and and fade in uh, not fade in and out but flicker in and out um, a Danish company has solved that this. They've bought. I'm very, very certain this is exactly the same lamp as on the Mark Petitian, but they have made it so it's a button you turn. Uh, up here so you don't have the, to flick the switch and also they have completely avoided uh, the problem with the, with the loose the loose fitting here by by not having a fitting here um, and and also the cord on this seems uh, seems to be better quality it's it's thicker and it's better insulated um, uh, the one thing that is not as well as on the Mark Pudishang is is the tool the the tool stand because this is actually uh, made to have uh, your to have your tool so you can you can put your tools here and stuff like that uh, but uh, this is not as good as on the Mark Pudishang however uh, it's still very very good and the price here is is way way better. This is more than a hundred euros less expensive than the Mark Pitichang one. So a, a more than a hundred euros less expensive than the Mark Pitichang one, which is I would say for for an overall better, more thought through product, uh, except for for the the, the 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 tool carry system here, um, is 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 really really the best, absolutely best lighting uh, uh, option for your for your for your flight tying device. So, well, basically, uh, those were the five things for today. And, of course, uh, remember to subscribe. And, uh, well, thank you for, for watching this. And, uh, yeah, happy hunting and good luck on the waters. Oh, and, uh, yeah, no, no, that, uh, that, that's only in Danish, so... <laughs>